Hey everyone, ShaveBear1000 here. Today we're in the woods, kind of. We're actually in the backyard, in the side woods, so you'll hear some traffic. But anyway, today we got a new chair we're going to check out. So stick around and I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, so like I said, we've got this new chair. We're gonna take a look at it. This is not a sponsored video. They didn't send me this chair. A friend of mine gave me this chair. So we're gonna open it up and check it out. Look at the camo. Then we're gonna sit in it and try it out, see how it feels, okay? So, a little backstory on this. I was doing my friend's brakes on the back of his Dodge yesterday. And, you know, well, he, he paid me a lot more than what I wanted, but, uh, uh, but, but he's like that. He had brought, he told me he had a chair and, um, this was just yesterday. Today's Thursday, so you might not see this till tomorrow, which would be Friday. But so he told me that uh, that you know he had a chair he he wanted me to look at and check out, and because um, he knows uh, Monkey and I are into camping and stuff. So I said okay, and uh, he's the one that gave me them two tents here a couple years ago. Here's the other one set up. I don't know if it's about the same size or... And so, I said, sure. So we, uh, you know, he brought the chair out and he opened it up and said, here, take a seat in this. He said, uh, buddy of mine's got one. He said, it's supposed to hold 300 pounds. Well, I'm not 300 pounds. I'm only like 193. But he said he's, he's over 300 pounds. He sits in it hunting all day long and he swears by it and he says very comfortable check it out so I did I sat down checked it out and um, amazingly this thing is very very comfortable um, it is lightweight it's not heavy at all um, we're going to weigh it here in just a minute um but it does have a little your little cup holder on here and it's put on here it's called a tripod chair with metal okay see that it's not just sewn on feels of good quality um the stitching's very good on it very good stitching I like the camo now I'm not sure what camo this is but uh, anyway he said a friend of his gave it to him the tag is cut off of it under penalty of law I did not okay if there's any of you agents out there watching this I did not cut that tag off of there okay but a lot of people do. They don't like the tags hanging on them. It's understandable. But, uh, so... When he paid me and everything, he said, You know what, Marty? He says, I want you to keep that chair. I said, Man, I, I don't want to take your chair. He's like, No, man. You guys go camping. You really like it. He said, I want you to have the chair. So I said, Okay. I'll, I'll take the chair. Um... And I like that this this is Velcro. We'll get into that here in a second. And it's put on, it's put in there with a metal screw. Nice strap. Metal buckle there type thing. Um, so yeah, it's called a tripod chair. How I can't remember where he said his friend got it, but his his friend has one, and so he brought him this one. But um. So, I can't read what that says. I'm 
next let me see if I can get you guys to focus in on this where did I just see that So, but anyway, I got to looking around. I thought he said Cabela's or Bass Pro. Now, they have them similar at Cabela's and Bass Pro. But this exact one I found um, on a website. I'll put it on the screen right now. And that says today's price. Like I said, today is Thursday, so you might not see this till tomorrow. It was 22, what, 22 bucks, 22.99, whatever. So that means it's more than that. But all the ones I found similar to this are all running around 33, 34 bucks. And he said, you know, that the guy gave 34 dollars for it. So anyway, that's where you can find this exact chair. I know for sure. So. What we're going to do before I roll it, we're going to weigh this thing. Like I said, it is a light chair. Now, I don't know if it's for light enough for some backpackers. Okay, so let's go. We're on pounds right now. There's pounds. Let's hit the tear button. Okay. It locked on on 4.27 pounds. Four point two seven. Uh, let's go to units. At sixty eight point three ounces. Like I said, four pounds is a lot when you're backpacking. I I understand that. But for fishing and camping, and I don't know what this is. I don't know if that's in Japan's weight or. I'm not sure about that, but and it's 1.93 kilograms. Okay, so, but to me, it doesn't feel that heavy. Hit the tear button. I'll shut this off. It doesn't, you know. I mean, I see. I waited earlier, and I was just going to tell you what the weight was, and then I thought, no, I'll, I'll go ahead and show them. Um, <laughs> my mic wire. Uh, it's not heavy at all. It's got this nice strap on it here. Um, so you can just, and it's adjustable, the strap. Uh, you know, it'd make a good, a good fishing chair, camping chair. Like I said, it wouldn't be for everybody because of the chairs they have now that come apart and stick in your backpack. They're very, very light. But hunting, I wouldn't have a problem with carrying this and my rifle um, for a good little ways and, uh, you know, sitting and hunting. So let's get you down over here and let's set it up. And we're going to sit in it and try it out. There's a couple more things I want to talk about on this. Okay, so we're going to start with this Velcro thing here. We're just going to take it, pull it out of there. There you go. And just unfold it. Just like that. Now we're going to sit in it. Of course, I've already sat in it, guys. So I'm not going to pretend like it's my first time sitting in it. But I guarantee you this thing it's stable it's comfortable i don't feel like i'm gonna fall over at all i would have no problem with sitting here in this chair if i was hunting for four hours i would have no problem with it at all um, i know they don't look comfortable but this chair is very comfortable um, what I don't like about it is the carry strap. I think it should be a little bit wider. I understand what they're going for. They're going for weight. But like I said, um, I don't think it would add that much more on. Maybe even a, a piece of padding on there. 
but what I've done before is you can buy those things that go on your seat belts on your on your cars I bought those before and put them on straps for chairs and guns and whatnot um, rifles and shotguns really makes a big difference so that's not a deal breaker at all uh, the price like I said today's price you seen it it was twenty two dollars um, so I don't know what the original price is but would I give thirty dollars for it yes I would um, it's not a problem monkey sat on it she says yeah it's, it's fine um, yeah I don't uh, I don't I don't see anything wrong with it. the craftsmanship the quality seems to be there I there's nothing I can say bad about it um, there's no there's not a lot of you know threads sticking out it seems like they took their time on this it's well thought out and they sell a lot of these I mean you look up tripod chair and they're just there's a bunch of them everywhere um, a lot of people are selling these like I said, at four pounds, it's probably if you're if you're a diehard backpacker, it's probably not for you because that would probably seem awful heavy to you, which which it kind of is. But my camera, just the camera without the tripod, weighs two pounds. So, but I mean, if if you're a backpacker and a hiker, you're probably in shape. You might not even notice this that much on you. Um. But definitely for camping and fishing when you're going to be sitting a long time, I wouldn't have a problem with this. I'll put it to a real world use when Monkey and I uh, were wanting to go camping this month. I'll put it to a real world use and I'll use this instead of my big chair. And we'll see how it goes. But right now, like, you know, I sat in it for a while this morning, sat in it for a while last night, sitting in it today, and it just, it feels good. It feels really good. Um,. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, this is awesome. Uh, I don't have a problem with this at all. So, yeah, and uh, when he was getting ready to leave, you know, he paid me, gave me this chair. He was like, hey, you need a 100-foot extension cord? And he looked around at the front yard with all the Christmas lights, and I said, yeah, because all mine are here. He says, I got one for you, because he, he never turns down extension cords. He finds them for like three or 400 or three or four hundred bucks yeah three or four dollars and uh, he picks them up and he always has extra he says always got extra he says here i got a, i think i got one in here and he got in the back of his in his uh toolbox and he got out that extension cord and handed it to me So he gave me that. Uh, really, it's an extension cord. There won't be a review on that, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice it's a nice cord. It's a hundred footer, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So anyway, guys, uh, for this chair, what is it? Mac was is that what that said? Um. Anyway, you saw it on the screen. Uh, I don't have my phone out here with me. Uh, but I'll put it on here again. So anyway, you can get it there. Uh, like I said, the the ones at Cabela's I looked at, they're similar, but like they don't have a cup holder, and um, but they are similar to this. Like I said, there's hundreds of different tri different kinds of tripod chairs. Uh, there's some with netting and there's some that's kind of padded like this well it's not really padded it's it's more of a thicker material canvas it's very thick it's not going to rip on you uh, they also make the nylon ones uh, which those will rip this is not going to rip on me it, it is a canvas material I do like the uh, the camouflage on it um, you know, I mean you know there it is the backdrop there yeah I, I just like everything about it so far like I said you know I'll update you on a review on it or on this review but anyway thanks Ryan I appreciate it it will get a lot of use um, I'm very comfortable of course I, I'm I'm a shorter guy I'm only 5'8 so um, but 
so it fits me fine. Um, you know, uh, that's the only thing. I just wish the strap was a little bit wider or they had, you know, some more padding there or something. It's not a deal breaker. So, so far, I will give it two thumbs up. And I'll go four and a half out of five stars. Only because I really haven't tested it out in real world use yet. Um, so that may jump up to a five star later. Um, or it could jump down if I find other problems. If, if it breaks or something, you know. We just have to see in a real world situation. But right now, yeah, I'm giving it four and a half out of five stars and two thumbs up. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Shea Bear 1000 here and uh, the myth, the man, the legend. <laughs> Stay tuned for more videos, guys. Uh, again, I'm still wanting to try to do a video day for up until Christmas Day. And then uh, I will do one Christmas Day. But um, I am also going to be this year. I didn't do it last year, but I did the year before last. I read Twas the Night Before Christmas. I'm going to do it again. I don't care what YouTube says. So if the comments get turned off on that video, guys, I'll mention it again in that video. Um, I didn't do it. It would be because it's for kids or, or whatever. But you know what? I'm going to do something for the kids every year from now on. So if they turn the comments off or demonetize me or whatever, so be it. But at least, you know, there will be something for you, for you guys to watch. Um, that will be uploaded uh, a couple days before Christmas Eve. That way it will be up for you guys on Christmas Eve if you want to play it for your kids, grandkids, siblings, whatever. Um, but Christmas Eve I will be doing another live stream with the lights and playing some music. So that should be fun. So anyway, guys, stick around. Thanks for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Be good to yourselves. Be good to everyone. <laughs> and take care. <laughs> we'll see you soon.